Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Is your Dell XPS 13 9315 acting up? Thunderbolt ports not working? Laptop freezing or not turning on? Is your motherboard actually dead? Don't throw your laptop out just yet. I'm going to show you how to swap that motherboard like a pro. No fancy tools, just a bit of patience and precision. Here's what you'll need. Phillips screwdriver zero. Phillips screwdriver. Torx five screwdriver. Replacement motherboard and a ton of patience. Note, after replacing the motherboard, you'll need to recover the operating system. But don't worry, I've got a video for that too, and I'll leave the link in the description below. Let's get started. Removing the base cover. First things first, turn off your laptop and unplug everything. We don't need any surprises, right? Remove the eight base cover screws. Keep them organized, we'll need them later. A magnetic tray is your best friend here. Now, gently remove the base cover. If it's stubborn, use a plastic pry tool. No metal here, we don't want to damage anything. Disconnect the battery. Now, we're getting to the fun part. Once the base cover is off, you'll see the motherboard. But before you even think about touching it, disconnect the battery. Remove the display assembly. Undo the screws that secure the right and left hinges of the display assembly to the palm rest and keyboard assembly. Make sure to keep track of these screws, they're pretty specific and vary in size. Next, remove the two screws that secure the camera and display assembly cable to the display assembly interposer board on the system board. Remove the four screws that secure the two display assembly cable brackets to the palm rest. Lift the display assembly off the palm rest and keyboard assembly. Removing the heatsink. In reverse sequential order, undo the four screws that secure the heatsink to the system board. Lift it off the system board. Disconnect the wireless module cables. 
remove the single screw that secures the wireless module bracket to the motherboard. Removing the system board. Unscrew the motherboard. It's held in place with five screws. Installing the new system board. Now let's slide in the new motherboard. Ensure that the left Thunderbolt 4 port is aligned with the left port hole on the palm rest. Reconnect all the cables we took off earlier. This includes touchpad cable, fan cable, wireless module cable, I.O. cable, and daughterboard cable. Replace the five screws that secure the system board to the palm rest. Install the heat sink. Before we begin, wipe off the old thermal paste from the heat sink. Now apply a fresh layer of thermal paste to the CPU area on the motherboard. Once the paste is applied, place the heat sink back onto the CPU and secure it with the screws. Install the display assembly. Align the screw holes of the palm rest to the screws holes on the hinges of the display assembly. Next, close the right and left hinges. Replace the screws that secure the hinges of the display assembly to the palm rest.
Now replace the screws that secure the two display assembly cable brackets to the palm rest. Place the display assembly interposer board on the system board. Connect the battery cable. Now reconnect the battery cable to the system board. Double check each cable connection. Trust me, the last thing you want is to power it up and realize you forgot a single cable. Install the base cover, place and snap the base cover into place on the palm rest. Replace the eight Torx 5 screws that secure the base cover to the palm rest. Alright, now that everything's back in place, it's time for the moment of truth. Let's power it up. Now it's time to recover your operating system. There are a few different ways to do this. Be sure to check out the video I made on OS recovery. I'll leave the link in the description below. If this video saved your laptop, hit that like button, subscribe for more tech tips, and drop a comment below if you've got any questions or want to see more repairs in action.